Join me now is EWTN Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Michael Warsaw. Michael, thank you for coming on. This is a huge win for EWTN and it's been a long battle. What's your reaction now that it's over? Well, I'm, I'm certainly excited. I'm certainly grateful. Uh, it's been seven years, really, since we filed the first lawsuit. Um, and when we began, I never imagined that it would take seven years to really get to this point. Um, so it's an exciting day. It's a great victory, not just for EWTN, but I think for religious liberty uh, in general. Uh, this was an important case and an important fight to have. Uh, and I'm, I'm just grateful that uh, both the government and the courts really finally came to the point where they accepted the argument that EWTN had been making all along, which was that the Obamacare HHS mandate was unconstitutional, that it was a violation of our religious liberty, and uh, they've, they finally came to that point in this decision. And like you're saying, this has widespread implications. It's not just for EWTN. Why do you think that is? What do you think is going to happen with other court cases? Well, I, I hope that our decision, uh, which is you know now one of the other a series of decisions that have that have come down on this uh, manner in the same way. Um, I hope it's it's a catalyst for the resolution of the other outstanding cases that are that are out there. Um, you know, I think there was a lot of belief and hope that when the president uh, signed his executive order uh, months ago, and and uh, with the new administration coming into office at the the last election, that these sorts of matters would sort of go away or that they had been really resolved. And the reality is that uh, for most institutions that had filed suit and for most uh, organizations that were objecting to the mandate, none of that really resolved uh, anything for those cases like ours. And so I'm hopeful that ours provides a little bit more momentum for settlement. Sure. How do you think um, this case will impact uh, other cases that are facing huge fines and legal fees? I mean, in the sense that you know, we're f facing some of that same problem. You know, people just want to live their faith, essentially. Right. Well, certainly with regard to the mandate, uh, the, the implications of not having protection from the mandate are that the government uh, was able to fine uh, institutions or organizations that refuse to comply. Um, what amounted to, in the case of EWTN, you know, millions and millions of dollars a year. They were crushing fines that that really um, were a death penalty for businesses and organizations who chose to stand up for their strongly held beliefs. So by, by reaching this resolution, the settlement with the government and the subsequent court action, um, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that that sends a message to other organizations that uh, there's hope for them as well, that they won't suffer from those fines and, and penalties as well. It's so interesting, I know that you've been praying about this, and so many people have been praying for EWTN and all of those other organizations facing similar court cases. So it's interesting to have you come on and talk to us about it. EWTN Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Michael Warsaw, thanks so much for your input. Thanks so much.